Okay. Well, okay. Uh, welcome, folks. So the, the session today, it's no more than 20, 30 minutes. It's really just kind of a run through. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, um, and I think everybody's pretty familiar with the PowerPoint format for the present for the product presentation. I shared it in a group. If you don't have it, just let me know. We'll make sure you have a copy. So let me get right into sharing my screen and we'll get started now. Okay. You guys are seeing the the beautiful feel. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just moving some things around here so I can see you guys as I'm doing this. I know PJ sent uh, something. For yeah. What, what I did is I, I took that. I mean, okay. at the end of the day, and that was my goal is I, I didn't want to create something that people have to learn to present again. Uh, okay. I wanted to create something that was seamlessly uh, in line with what you're used to do in the past. The only difference is really not, we're not going through the compensation plan uh, details. How beautiful is she? <laughs> She's so cute. Okay. Is that your, your, uh, your uh, granddaughter? Yeah, my daughter. <laughs> yeah. I was about to see your daughter. <laughs> okay. So here's what's going on. Um, when we present, I'll give you an example in a minute here, what we're going to do, but this is the slide that I would like you guys to have displayed while people are waiting. And the reason is, again, uh, we want to create a feel that's in line with what they saw. You know, familiarity always is something that people can relate well. And this is what people will see on the uh, YouTube uh, uh, link that was created that notify them of the presentation when the live takes place. It's also uh, in line with the Facebook group that we have that talks about the cell GVD and when we'll have, you know, as, as we evolve, we'll be able to share some presentations in there, some stories. We're gonna, we're gonna grow the, the, the value of this group, which everybody can use for customers or even to enroll an associate. But here's an example of what people are saying. And all of that. So it's a it's a real it's a tool that's going to evolve as we keep going forward. So this is a slide I will display, and I'll give you the layout of how you know the timing and everything else in a minute. And then when you begin, then you start on this slide. We're Max International, right? And then I'm not going to go through the presentation, but you can notice the script is not gone. It's there. So it's it's the script that you guys are used to. Okay. And me, what I usually do, I do have multiple screens. So I didn't tell you up to you how you want to do this. Um, I like to have my script in front of you and I like to have the display somewhere else. Uh, but again, not to complicate things, one screen is totally fine. You may want to have maybe your, your iPad. I know some of you are doing or whatever device you use to have your script if you need that. I need, and most of you don't even need a script. Um, but one thing you have to keep in mind is we don't want the presentation to be more than 15 minutes. 10 minutes, I think we can handle it. In fact, I recall as we were all presenting, we were pretty much done uh, when we got to these products, uh, when we got here, that, that was about between eight minutes, five to eight minutes we were here. And and again, we can. I kept the, the information that's here. Lucy, I've used kind of what you did in French because I thought that was a good, rep in fact, let me rephrase that. PJ's suggested this and I agreed when I make sure credit is due. And so people to have a visual of what is oxidative stress and then it carries on, um, you know, every cell requires a glutathione, but what is glutathione? And so that way it kind of invites people to, to understand what's the technology behind what we have and why it's important. And here's some of the benefits to stay within the, you know, the, 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 the FTC rules and regulations. Again, let's we we, we want to make sure you guys know the drill. Um, I think it's important that we understand the, the the fact of the glutathione going down, all of these things, what's affecting the decrease in glutathione, and here are the results if you don't look into it. We who we do have a solution, and here's this guy behind the creation of what we're sharing with you. And then I asked Marcel to remove the other products because. One thing, and again, tell me why, uh, if you want to add to this, Eric was very adamant about we got to stop overwhelming, overcomplicating by layers and layers and layers and layers of data to the brand new person. We know that glutathione is kind of the, it's, it's the ingredient, 
right? We know that it's LGVD and uh, the, the Max 1 is the flagship. I didn't bring the GXL there simply because it just adds, okay, why is, do you have two different kinds? Well, it's because we started with the GXL and we evolved with the Max 1. We never let go of the GXL because we have many countries that don't want to let go of it. So Max wanted to respect that. But it's the reason we have the diff two different technology. But to keep things simple to the presenter and the audience, uh, we keep that simple where it goes in with the Max 1. Why am I leading with the Max 1? Because that is the one ingredient called ribosine. Leading to that, we have the celgivity. And here's a buffet of information or, or ingredients that are in line to that. And again, if you follow the script, uh, you know, you, you can go through this presentation. I'm not kidding within 10 minutes. And I suggest that you practice it. And, uh, and then it finishes with that, right? We have testimonies, which the irony is uh, we're presenting on YouTube live and it's a Facebook live at the same time. And of course, you know, Instagram are presenting where people can share this everywhere. So, and that's what it is. And once this is done, this is when you will invite the guests to share their story. Once it's done, then you wrap the whole thing up and you finish as you see fit. You guys all have experience in presenting. Now, what we use to present we're using, we're using live stream and I didn't buy it yet. I just, uh, I, I bought the package, but I need to upgrade so I can invite all of you to become uh, hosts. So what, what you're going to do is you're going to be receiving an email, an invitation email to join in into the pre the presenters group. And what's going to happen One second. I find it when I run Zoom and stream and the computer is lagging a bit. So um, when when you log in, you're going to see this. If you have your own free version, you name it something, an active team group will be added here. So you'll notice that you'll have multiple. At the beginning, I didn't know what was going on. When, when I got a link and I was trying to get mine, so how do we get to mine? Then I realized on the side here, you can choose the different a platform of StreamYard you're, you're connected to. Some of them you're invited to into and some and some of them, some of you may have your own, your free version. And I do recommend for you to get your free version. So once you select this, then at this point, you can see what's going on in February. We're going to be adding March, April, May. You won't really need to do any of this. Uh, we don't need everybody to learn to do that because it's, it does, it does, it's, we don't need to. Uh, I can take care of that. And eventually I'm going to get Marcel to do this for me. But for now, this is what you will do. And what you have to pay attention, this is something that's really, really, really important. You got to pay attention on the date here. Because the moment you enter a studio and you go live, the system deletes that. And that will delete this version. So in the worst case, your presentation will go flawlessly. Everything will be fine. But what's going to happen is the date of the actual event is going to be gone. Okay. And it's going to confuse it because when you go on, on the, on, on the YouTube channel, uh, it's going to have the date that you selected, which is a February 29th, which is in the future. So just be mindful of that date. Okay. So really what you, once you're, once you're in, this is what you see, and then you enter the studio. And then from there, it's just going to confirm uh, your your camera's working and your microphone's working. And if let's say some of you may have different cameras, you may have a Logitech or whatever, you may want to use your computer, whatever the situation may be, you click on their setting and then you can choose. It's just going to list what you have connected. I know I'm a little bit of a geek here. I have lots of stuff. Um, so this is the one that I'm using. Okay. And when it comes to audio, I'm using this um, this fancy Scarlet whatever, this thing. Okay, but by default, most of you will have some like that, MacBook microphone built in. So your default, my segment for most of you will be fine. I'm just letting you know that as we keep evolving, people buy things that make, sound, make, make you look better, sound better, just for you to be aware of that. If not, just use whatever default, as long as this moves up and down and you can see yourself, you're good. This is the name that you want displayed. I put Chris because it's easier for people to remember and pronounce, but you can put whatever you want here. And then, uh, well, your name, obviously. And then you click enter studio. And when you enter the studio, 
then what happens here Yeah, I'm just going to find a background here that you guys won't have to. Uh, it'll be the default. But right now it's black. doesn't really matter. Um, so what happens is once you're in, you're showing at the bottom here. Okay? So you have to click Add to Stage. Boom. Then you show up here. If I want to add my presentation, you click on Presentation, Slides. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are going to see this or not. Uh, but it's I, this is the point is I'm gonna, I, I can show you how to do this. What I did is I simply took the PowerPoint that you guys saw, and I simply say uh, add Google Slides, and I'll share with you the link right now. One moment here, just so you have the the link of the. Um, sorry about that. I'm trying to remember where I put it. Oh, it's here. Okay. Okay, so I want to share. Share. I'm just waiting for my computer lag here a bit. I uh, want to make it anyone with the link. Copy link. Chris, did you say that this section was called Add to Studio? Or add to what? Add to what? Yeah, I'll, I'll repeat it. Actually, I'll repeat it. Um, I'm just going to send that to you now into, let me put it into the Telegram, the, the, the Facebook Messenger. There we go. Okay. In the Facebook Messenger right now, I'll, I'll, I'll put a message in there later so folks understand why I'm doing this. This is the actual Google Doc version of the presentation. And the reason I'm doing this is it's, it's very easy to manipulate. Okay, you don't have to have uh, the the version of Microsoft or need none of that. You can just click on that and just it, it'll run. Okay, so what I'm doing here is once you have that version, and it's it's uh, saved up somewhere on your your computer. And again, if you need help, I can explain to you to fill in the blanks. So just to to answer your question, I click on present. Okay, and then I want to click on slides. Now I already added over here, but if I don't have it then I will go get it from my Google Drive. Everybody has a free Google Drive account. I think you have like 30 megs for free or 30 gigs or something like that for free. Uh, not 30 gigs. I think it's 30, I, I don't know, 300 megs. I, I forgot what it is. Uh, 30 megs maybe. So you click on Google Slides. You click on that. And it's going to connect you to your, your, your Google account. And again, if you need help with that, it's no big deal. I'll walk you through it. And I'll show you another way that you don't even need to do this. I'm just doing this for your own personal education. Then I'm connecting my StreamYard to my Google account. Yes, I'm allowing it. Okay. And then what's going to happen, it's going to show me uh, everything that I have here available. Okay. So for example, the presentation is it's sitting right here. I'm not going to do it again, but what I would do is I would select that and I would just select. And when it's doing this, it's going to import this presentation right here. And it's going to list it over here. Okay. So I'm going to click on that, and here it is. Okay. So right now I'm going to remove it from the stage for a moment. So whenever you add you you add something, let's say you want to share a video or something for your own personal education, you can get it from here. And then once it's in this case, once it's sitting here, once you select it, then you just add to stage, and it shows up here. You can click these this this button to say, for example, if people are waiting for me to sign in, um, I usually have this screen over here. And what I do is about two minutes before. So let's say my presentation is at, um, well, we said like eight o'clock, I think we did. And then at 7.58, I am I click go live. This is what people see. Why? It's because everybody that's on that channel gets a notification. It gives them two minutes to log in. And just that I will find I'll have about 10 people I'll just kick in. So instead of having nobody in the room, like because nobody's aware of what's going on in Zoom. Here, there's about close to 1,500 people on this channel. And then your, your, your version will be recorded because it does it by default. But at 7.58, for example, what I do is I click here. Okay, one second. I didn't share my audio here. 
Okay, so I'm going to click here. Okay, so for two minutes, the, 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 the song is basically two minutes, 20 seconds. And the moment it's done, then I just appear here or whoever's going to appear. And I'll invite Tammy in a minute. And I didn't I, I didn't give her the link yet because I wanted you guys to see how I do, how I invite someone into my presentation to present with me. Um, so from here, uh, when you select this icon, as you can see them, is whoever are the presenters will appear on the side with the slide over here. And as and then you just switch your slides like this. It's really that simple. Okay. All the way to the end. And then when you're done. Right. You're doing this last slide over here. Then that's when you probably want to come back. Right. And just kind of introduce your guests. Now, what I'm going to do is you see this button here called invite. I'm going to invite every single one of you. Where's the chat here? I'm going to put it in the chat. But technically, you would probably send that to someone into WhatsApp or Telegram or Facebook Messenger or whatever. But don't send that group to everybody because people will click on that. You don't want your audience to be on the background ready to present, right? Uh, they're going to they're gonna get that link from, and I'll finish with this when they get to the YouTube channel. Uh, but if you guys want to click that link, it's possible we may ask you a few things. I'm not sure. Uh, Tammy, you, you should also be able to do it. When would you invite people? How much before the, the start of it? Um, well, first of all, I would have promoted my event prior. Like there's an email going out today. You can see here, Sylvia just popped in. Okay. Uh, but remember, there's two invites I'm talking about. This is the invite of people that's going to that will be presenting or sharing their stories. So, Jasmine, you're, oh, you're going to be one of... Oh, this is the invites for the presenters. Gotcha. Correct. So, in this case, you're going to be uh, sharing a segment of our testimony. And I also, right. I will finish with Joe Wojtecki. I asked Joe to be in because he has a phenomenal story and is the CEO of the company. And having a CEO sharing a story about our own product brings a lot of credibility. And uh, so I wanted him to, to do that. And I believe oh, we have another person that uh, PJ invited. I just need to confirm um, the details. So Jasmine, Francisco, and Joe will be the first. Correct. So here's what happens. So for example, let's just say I invite Sylvie to the stage. I invite Allison, right? And Tammy, I don't see who you yet. I'm coming. Okay, so you send this invite to where? We got it by email? Uh, this this invite, I would you can send it through Facebook Messenger. You can send it. Remember, these are the people speaking with you. So me, for example, right. Jazz, when you're ready, like right now, I've sent it into uh, into the chat of Zoom. But once we're oh, ready on gotcha. Thursday. Oh, okay, because okay, yeah. I didn't know how to. Yeah, yeah. So I shared it on the Zoom chat. But on Thursday, I'm going to give it to you probably on WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, most likely WhatsApp. Okay. So Tammy, it's not on WhatsApp, right? It's on um oh, here she is. Oh yes. my gosh. My browser doesn't support StreamYard's technology. Okay, I'm really glad that we did this. Oh okay. Here's another thing that you guys have to be aware of. Um now Lucy, the reason why you're not appearing and I can't do much is because your your camera is, is not on. Okay. I have now Safari. I don't have I gotta get on Chrome. Yeah, and now the reason why there's an echo is because now we're dealing with two software. There's Zoom going same time as StreamYard. And it doesn't work on Safari. You got to go on Chrome or yeah, Firefox. Just, yeah. Okay. So in this case, for example, if you see, let's say someone doesn't have a microphone, a, a video, it makes it possible. You, you could do that. You could do that. You could do that. There we go. So that's how you invite people. And when you're ready to present again, you you could have three presenters. Um, you know, you got multiple people presenting, but I mean, obviously, we're, we're limiting this to two people. But my point here is that you could have, for example, let me just remove Tammy. 
Okay, let's move you guys. Okay, so let's say let's say Tammy and I are presenting. Okay. And then um and I'm getting, let's say again, it's just as a protocol here, as we're sharing the presentation, and then we're getting into the testimony as, as we're sharing. Um, okay, what's going to be the next segment of presentation? This could be a good opportunity here to invite my two guests, right? Or you may want to do one at a time. Okay, so let's say I remove Allison for a moment and Sylvie is next. And let's say I'm inviting Sylvie to share. Then I could have Sylvie uh, so people can, you know, can see her reaction and everything as we're introducing Sylvie. And then when Sylvie is done, then I can introduce uh, Allison. So now you can see what I'm doing here on the back end because it's being recorded. But this is how this is, is manipulated. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. And again, to, rec to recap the invite, you click on invite. This will appear. I copy this. And then you send that to email or messenger. Or you can put it in your Facebook group. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> and into your Facebook messenger, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Again, you don't put that in a group. You don't want your guests to click on this link. Otherwise you'll have a whole bunch of people here. And this right. is not what you're looking for. And I'm realizing that I can't have more than four guests here. I'm realizing this because I was trying to add another one and it didn't let me. So it's because it's four at a time. But in our case is we have the two presenters and then we have the, the testimonies and that's all there is to it. Uh, any questions on that so far? We're good. Okay. Um, so just to recap, when I'm ready to present, by the way, you can select the slide that you want to go back to here. Okay. Now I'm, I'm keeping my mic mute, mute because we're, we're talking through zoom and it's going to be echoes. So what happens here is at the bottom here, the background music, there's a few different chops, things here. I added this one here. These are free, um, uh, royalty free music that you can use. I'm going to call that something like uh, uh, Max PowerPoint intro. And that's what I'm going to name this because I just did it five minutes ago. And this song is about, I don't remember, but I think it's about two minutes long. So what I do is I take this loop off because if you don't, if it's on, it's highlighted. If it's not highlighted, it's off. And for me, when the music stops, that's my cue to begin. Okay, and another question. That... You... Yeah, go oh, ahead, Jess. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, you're good. So when you've put the music on, do you manually have to stop it before you switch over to the slides? No. Won't the music just keep going? It, no, it will keep going if this is highlighted. But to okay. answer your question, here's, here's the answer. You click on it, you click on it again. It'll stop it. Okay. Okay. But gotcha. what I do is if you take this off, the music will play for about two minutes. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I found that if I start a webinar at eight o'clock, by eight oh five, we have most almost everybody. So there we they lost five minutes of the beginning. But what I found is if I if I go live two minutes prior, okay? And knowing that this song is two minutes, then what happened is when I go live, they don't see me or any of the speakers yet. They only see what I choose to display. Right. And then from there, I just, the moment it's like, let's say 7.58, I, I click live, number one. And number two, I click this. Okay. And I will let it go until it ends. But what you have to also recall, notice on the right hand side, you have different icons. The common icon, this is where you want to stay in. Because when people start saying, hey, welcome, and then you see all the names, or they're all going to appear here. And then you can post a comment yourself over there, but all the comments are going to come here. Okay. And where the music is set, it's when you click on the icon band, and the music happens to be, you know, you, you'll be like this. You go scroll down. And then uh, that's where the, the option is. This icon. And again, guys, if you make mistakes, please don't worry. It's totally cool. 
Uh, the first few weeks, we're going to be a little bit choppy, and that's totally cool. Eventually, it'll be fine. But again, just to recap is when you, if this is blue, like highlighted, it will keep repeating it in a loop. Okay, so when it ends, it starts again. So when, if you take this off, then the music, when the music is done, then that's your cue. Now there's no more sound other than you speaking. So that's when I click this button over here and the presenters are showing. If you've seen Tammy and I do some presentations in a different environment, this is exactly what we do. And it, we're, it, we've got some great comments. It's professional. Uh, it's, a, it's it, it, you know, there's no awkward silence. It's, it's, it's cool. And once again, when you finish and you're on your last slide over here, okay, let me just go back, okay? So uh, you may want to get the next person in line. Uh, maybe when you get on this slide, I would say that would make more sense, right? And you're gonna share, you, you get the next person and, and, uh, and that's gonna be speaking here. That's when you're gonna be introducing that person. And again, folks, don't take too, too, too long. We wanna keep this presentation uh, a maximum of, no more than 15 minutes, but it's if it goes 20 minutes, it's totally okay. And even if it goes a little longer, listen, that's what I mean. We, we'll adjust, but eventually you're going to find your, your space. You're going to feel comfortable. You're going to grow and it's, it, things are going to be seamless. Okay. But technically a testimony is about two minutes. Joel's testimony on Thursday will be about five minutes. He's going to give the, you know, an extension of it. So it's going to be a bit of an example, uh, you know, kind of it's, it's the first one that we're launching, but you want to keep that 15 minutes. Why? Because even 15 minutes is long, but when you're dealing with the kind of, you, you can't rush a presentation in two minutes. We got to be fair. This should be done at the beginning when you're introducing, when you're, 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 you're prospecting and inviting and sharing what's going on. Okay. Now I want to hear what this is. Well, that's 15 minutes. Well, 15 minutes is very well, like below 20 minutes, it's super well received when it comes to when people are expecting a presentation. But you don't go on, you don't want to go on 45 minutes because you went on and on and on and on. It's an overload. 15 minutes is what we want. So 10 minutes is the presentation. And again, if you take longer, no big deal. And the last five minutes is your testimony, then you're ended up. Then when it's done, all the presentations are here on YouTube. I don't know what it is with your internet today, but uh, okay. So let's click on active team. Okay, so we have 1,407. So we're 1,470 subscribers right now. What's going to happen over eventually it will be 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. Folks, this is where this is going to be absolutely crazy. Okay. So from there, what's going to happen? If I go in and I click on channel. Okay. And you click on live. That's how they're all resting. You see these ones? This is StreamYard um, scheduling the event, which is on the 15th. On the 15th. Chris, I'm not seeing. Um, um, Hold on. Let, let me fix something. Uh, where's the zoom? Where are you zoom? I'm, I'm, I'm just a minute. I'm just, uh, there's just a lot of stuff running and audio is overwhelming. Just one moment. Um, okay. So Sylvie, you're muted. Okay. Everybody's muted. So Sylvie, go ahead and ask the question again. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I, I can't see what you're explaining. <laughs> Some someone has their sound on, and that's why. Maybe here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mute everybody. Everybody. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Mute, 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 mute. Where are you, guy? Here we go.
Mute all. Okay, now everybody's muted. I'm still hearing. Testing, testing, one, two. Okay. Yeah, Sylvie, so I muted your... Um, it's because we we're do. we dealing with two streams, right? We have uh, Zoom and Yard, StreamYard. It's competing. So right now it's only Zoom. And so Sylvie, you could unmute yourself on Zoom. Uh, you're you're unmuted on StreamYard. Yeah, I'll send you an, an unmute notification so you can find a button. All right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not seeing like the sidebar where you're giving the explanations. I'm just seeing like the chat box. I don't know if it's because I'm added to the screen or not. Uh, uh, are you looking at the Zoom screen? I was, yes. Okay. Let me see. Uh, right now, do you see the, the PowerPoint? Yeah, I'm seeing the slide. I'm seeing you, Tammy, and myself, like as if on okay, StreamYard. What you, what you, okay, what's happening is you, you're looking at uh, StreamYard at the moment. Okay. So you just have right. to see on your it. screen, you have multiple screens. Multiple windows. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Got you. Okay, so when when I was talking about the size, this is what I was referring to. The comments, when all the comments that are going are going to be coming here, and okay. you're going to be able to respond here. If you want to respond, in some cases, for example, um, well, none of you can put a comment because the thing is not live yet. But let's say there was a comment here, and I click on it, just like I did for. Uh, the music, you know, the way I click mm -hmm. here on play. Well, the comments are going to have the same thing, but instead of saying play, it's going to say add. So when you click on the comment here, it's going to say when you when your mouse is over it, it's going to highlight whoever name is here. And when you click on that, your um, your message will appear at the bottom here. Okay. And when you click on it again, it will just like we did the music, it will it will disappear. Okay. And when you go on the band on the side, this is where the music happens to be. So when I was mentioning that at 7.58, you click go live. And again, don't worry if there's, if you make this, we'll figure out, we'll figure each other. We're going to figure all this out. So don't worry. It's good. Uh, we it's... have plenty of time to get better, but you is click you two minutes. Part choose the music? Is it you that choose the music or it is there? It is there. Ah. But okay. I don't know. See, this is what it is. Is That's where we're going to be testing because I uploaded it here. I'm not sure if you guys are going to see it or if it's one of those cookie things. But technically, I'm assuming that you're going to be able, you should be able to see that because in my account, I added this music and all of you guys, once you're invited here as, as uh, hosts, you should have access to everything I have access to. Okay. So for example, when you click on present, I'm assuming that you're going to see that presentation here. These are the last two trainings that you're muted, Tammy. Yeah, if they if they go into your account, then they should be able to see all this. I would think so. I absolutely would think so. So, and this is the music that I'm selecting. There's other option here. Um, you know, I just find it's a little too slow. There's the pop music here. Right. That's these are the defaults and there's others. And I kind of like this one because it's a little bit lively. So again, and I like to have this slide up, obviously the first one. So what I like about it is the familiarity that people will have. They see this and it's conjunction and in line with you know, the link that they saw that got them here. So if let's say you want to invite people and maybe just, that could be a question that you meant earlier is let's say you want to invite people to this event. You click on, uh, you can click on this or on the side and you want to click the button share this here. You want to copy it. And just for the sake of example, I'm going to put it into the chat. 
Okay. It's as simple as that for them to join your meeting. So if you do a text, a meeting, you're, you're, you may want to, hey, well, everybody, just want to remind you we're starting our presentation on the 15th and boom, you, 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 you share this link and everybody will end up um, into that particular channel and they're going to start appearing. Their names are going to appear here. And that's going to show up on the flyer too, Chris? Or... Oh, sorry. Let me rephrase that. Their names are not going to appear once they join the presentation. They will appear when they put a comment. When they put a comment, they will appear here. And that's when you welcome everybody. And this is a culture that I really want to start with, Max, that I'm learning elsewhere is let's create this community within our Max culture. It's really interesting because all these things that we're getting exposed to is giving me an opportunity. How can I bring this home and just explode with it? And, and I find that this really creates that sense of community by recognizing where they're from. Because I'm telling you, you're going to see people from the Philippines. You're going to see people from, you know, from everywhere. And one of the things that I should probably also consider that I didn't do yet is if I go to Facebook. Uh, Facebook is not in here. I, don't, I forgot the password. Let me use this one. So in the comments, as, uh, as the presenters are presenting, what's really nice is when there's continuous conversations going in the comments that can also add value. And um, yeah, I, I just think that it just brings a whole lot more value. They see other people on and, and the engagements going through the, the platform. It's very, very cool. So uh, for people who have questions, it can be um, handled at the end. And uh, obviously you won't see them, but you can see it in the comments. Uh, if anybody has any questions in regards to whatever it is that's happening in that presentation and no associate should be asking a, a question in these platforms. J you know, yeah. it's when our products are going to be available and this kind of negativity, because we know it's negative at them because you know, it is, it's associated with, you don't want to do that with guests, right? The guests are here to learn. This is not a Q and a session for uh, associate situations. This is more, yeah, and again, it's just common sense here, guys. But again, just to bring back this idea, so that's our that's our, our Facebook group that talks about our glutathione technology, okay? And you know what's going to happen? What's enough, guys? You guys have to start posting things, and <laughs> what's all we see is us. But um, you know, you can I can turn around in the live on Facebook is actually going to be taking place on the the Facebook group page. So once the live is taking place here, sorry, my internet is really slow today. So when it appears here, then, um, sorry, I'm being with, okay. And it's gonna appear Okay. And you can see here, the sessions are here and it's going to appear over here. Okay. The live is going to be here and I'm appearing twice. Anyway. So from there, um, you, you'll, you'll be able to, you know, to, to share that or, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share that video, for example, here on the 15th, I can share this into a group. And guess what? Oh, where are you? Um, okay, I'll, I'll figure this out later. So once I'm in the group of uh, the, the, the glutathione one, then I can share it in there, right? So there's 190 people in this group. They're also going to get a notification. I mean, guys, it's, it's endless on the, the the opportunity we have to create notification for people to attend to attend your event. Um, okay. Now it may seem like a lot, but really, all you need to be aware of, and I'm just going to recap very quickly. 
And I did mention 30 minutes and I lied again. I'm so sorry. Is once you're here, you select the date. You click enter studio. You make sure your technology is working. Once your technology is working, then you enter the studio. Once you're in the studio, oh, cool. You remember all the people that, that's really cool. cool. Okay. And then again, you can, you can add or remove. Move. Okay. And then from there, um, when you're, you want to add your presentation, you click on present slides. I think you guys should be able to see that. And when I'm about to begin, I make sure that this is a slide that I'm presenting. I'm selecting the music that I want, but that's going to play the moment you play on it. You click on it. So I wait at 7.58. I go live. And then I click on the sound, the music that I want. One detail important, this is loop track. If this is highlighted, it will repeat itself. If you find yourself that you forgot and it's playing, it probably will happen. That has happened to me before. You just click on it again. It will stop the music immediately. You go back to your comment. And once start people starts commenting, then that's when you, you may want to comment. But remember, if you're new, you may not comfortable multitasking. That's totally cool. You can just reference their comments. Or if you click on the comment, the ones that you find are relevant or add value, then you click on it, it will add to the bottom of the page while you're presenting. You switch your slides by clicking next like this until you get to the last slide. When you get to the last slide, this is when I recommend to invite, uh, while well, you go back, obviously this is what you would be right now, you'd be see, right? You invite the next person in line that's gonna be sharing, it happens to be Allison. Right. And technically your microphones will by default be unmuted. So remember if you're saying anything or dark barking or babies or whatever, all of that's going to come through. So just keep that in mind. So if you know there's background noise, you want to keep you're going to want this on mute, but remember to unmute when you're just ready to speak. When the next person is ready to go, I recommend to remove the person and add the next speaker. Okay. And then once the testimony is done. Then I would just finish all this up by having thanking everybody for attending. Appreciate your time, all the things that you feel is necessary for you to share as we end. And then when you're done, this here is going to, it's like a little red button. You click on that, and that's when you end the presentation and it will finish it. And what's going to happen is this will, will, this will turn into a, um, a recorded video. So let's say you want to share this on a later time because the, your guest didn't attend for whatever reason. You click here and you click share and you can share this wherever you want them to, where you want them to receive the, the link. Or you can copy the link and post it wherever you want. And that's all there is to it. And uh, when you're done, you just basically, uh, you can just click the X button or leave the studio And you will notice that this uh, this will disappear and it will be down to the one left on the 29th. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing this weekend is I'm going to upgrade to be able to add uh, members. Right now, I can only add one, which is what I what I added to as a co-host. So for me, to, so as you can see, as they were left. Once I upgrade my membership, then I believe I can have up, to, I don't know what the limit is. But then I will inv yeah, you I will put your name and email. You will receive an invitation. When you click that invitation, that's what that's the link you're going to click on to end up here. Okay, and then the rest is repeated. Okay, um, so my recommendation is again. I'm sorry, I went another twenty minutes late, uh, but this is recorded. As soon as I see the link, I will pass it on to the group. I suggest you download this. You don't have to wait 45 minutes. You can you can skip all the way to the end when I summarize what you need to do. 
to, to remind yourselves on the steps that you need to go through. And uh, and that's it. Go ahead, Lucy. Five points. So the first one is um, I can see that when you show the already uh, uh, the two registered already, it is written unless the power of glutathione. And and another place it is unless the the power of glutathione and ribosine. And on okay. Facebook, it's written release uh, ribosine and glutathione. Glutat Can you sir, do me a favor? Can you send it over to me by yeah. um, uh, because, WhatsApp? Uh, it could be good that uh, because I have already said that uh, put the comment that our unicity is ribosine, so it should become first and the ribosine to glutathione, just like you did for the Facebook. Okay. Yeah, please, please. I, by all means, I'm and yeah. this. I, I okay. really, really, and guys, I really, I know Jasmine often helps me with my English. I'm totally, 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 a hundred thousand percent open to this. If there's any correction, this is not my forte. My yeah. forte yeah, is no my. Problem. Yeah. So I just commented, you know, and the second is uh, you put the three product and you put the uh, CGVT, Max One, and Max GXL. And why not just the product with my Just um, a question. So yeah, just because uh, in the group we have Filipinos in there, and I, I don't want uh, them to feel offended that we're, I'm not including the GXL. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a political reason. People to ask what is what is Max GXL, so we don't want to because we no, talk, yeah. we focus on ribose. Yeah, then, no, unfortunately, that's something that we have to live with. It's it's more of yeah, a political no reason. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, and I, I if, if that comes to as, as a question to from anybody, I'll just explain what, in fact, it's one of our products, but in our presentation, we're really focusing on the ribus yeah. technology is the more read, but there's other markets that love what was introduced 15 years yeah. ago or 16 years ago. And that's why it's there because yeah. uh, there's okay. a lot of them in the group. Uh, that's how I would thing. answer it. Yeah. The but if you could, of... if you could send me those recommendations, it'd be wonderful. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to complete? Uh, well, if, if it's corrections, because me, no, but no, go ahead. it is uh, for the evolution of the cell with the, the apple. I yeah. sent you already two picture and the, the, because I found the apple is a bit big and the, the, may I have a picture. It's all included. Okay. And okay. also for the ingredient for CGVT, it's Britain Seleno. I think it's Spanish. The selenium. Selenium, yeah. Okay. Please send send all that to me, and I will I will fix it this weekend. So for people to join, they need all to have uh, download the application Streamyard. So if no. I want to no, okay. No, it's just a link. It's like going to YouTube. You okay, click the that's link. Great. That's yeah, for great. them, you just click the link Africa, to go to YouTube. Because I Sorry? might use that for Africa, and yeah, of course. Uh, and we have learned to use Zoom, so we can learn to do that too. Huh? Yeah, Zoom is a bit more intense. You got to install software. You got to know the yeah, software. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a lot easier, and you do have everybody has a free version. I really recommend you play with it. Download the how to on or yeah. watch the how tos on YouTube. Okay. Um, and that will Thank give you, you some insight because it'll be nice if it's done in all languages all across the world. And I'm I'm also working with Joe on that. I, I'm we're really trying to infiltrate um everything we know, everything we learn, so we can explode and expand as it is meant to be. So. Uh, but thanks a lot, Lucy. Appreciate the feedback. Send that to me on WhatsApp and I'll get on it right away. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. Anybody else? Cool. Okay. Thank you for attending, guys. Again, my apologies for spending more time than I expected. That's Bye -bye. okay. It was a great explanation. Thank you. Guys, it's got a question. Wait. Oh, go ahead, Jess. Okay. So if I do a trial run because I have to go through the technology, I'm, I can't. If I go on your streamline, I'm going to be on your active team streamline practicing. That's not cool. No, you can have your free version. I'm going to do my free version. Okay, okay, because yeah. I got to practice. <laughs> if you watch the if you watch the first video that I posted into this group message, I'm walking you through to through it. But I suggest you you go to streamyard.com, download it on your computer. Sorry, click and just register your account. There's no downloads. Okay. Register okay. your account and you'll have a free account. Okay. And no if download? you need help, just let me know. No download? No, no. need to download? Okay. No. That's okay. another thing. It doesn't matter if it's on a cell phone or a computer. Uh, it's it's also very light on the bandwidth. It's nice for uh, Africans. It's a 
It's, it's the way of the future. And it's also going to increase your YouTube channel. Uh, right now, the reason why I highly suggest that you use the active team group channel is because there's already a big audience there. Well, big. 1,500. And then you can share this on your own channel and grow your channel by piggybacking on ours. But if you just go to your channel and there's nobody there, you'll have nobody in your presentations. <laughs> and uh, it's it's annoying to present to air. <laughs> Right? I know. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, that's why I think it's really going to be good. And then from there, you can share that link from your channel. And then they may, you know, anyway, we'll expand together on this. Uh, there's so much knowledge that we can we can go on for another hour. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that you guys are aware. You have some time right now. And Jas, on Thursday, I'm going to give you the link once I, because every time I, I start a new session, it generates a new link. Okay, so I, if I if I go in and I send you the link that you guys have now that you that brought you into in, when I go back in, that link won't work anymore. So okay. that's why when you're in, you get the link. That's when you invite your guests to join in. And if your guests are not there, then you just go to the presentation without your testimony. You just do yours, yeah. which may happen. And I think, I don't know if it was Sylvia or someone asked me, can you upload a video of a recording? Absolutely. If you yeah. look at that old video that not the old the of the first train that we did together, I I was giving you an example where uh, there's an option to to upload a file, and if you upload a file, you can actually share it. In fact, if you have the the free version with your own account, you can you can upload a video that you can share of a story that someone maybe was not able to attend that particular time. And you can play their video. That will work too, and it it's really it works very nicely. Okay. And I know there might be other questions. Again, guys, don't worry. We have plenty of time. And uh, by the time you're up, uh, especially when you're presenting, I, I will work together. I'll make sure that we'll, I'll hold your hand until you do it. And if you have your own version to connect to your own channel, then I agree, Jas, because if you do this on Active Team, you'll have like four or five people popping in. It's okay, what's going on here? And it just creates confusion. Uh, so it's good that you have your, you create your, your own account. Okay. okay? So Bye, Chris, so we can we can have access of that that uh, presentation that you just did with the the first slide, um, if we want to practice, is that going to be on the team? Yeah, I just put the uh, the slide right now into the group, and I shared two the two version. I shared the PowerPoint, the Microsoft PowerPoint that was done two or three days ago when I was telling you guys for this call, and just now this morning I shared the Google Drive version. So he'll he'll update it based on uh, what needs to be fixed. Yeah, whenever Lucy, what Lucy has shared with me, I will up, I will, I will do an update and I will update it. But for now, you can use that. Good eye, Lucy, Selenio. <laughs> Good eye. Oh yeah, Lucy. eagle eyes. <laughs> Seven <laughs> really years. Seventeen years. I know. Trust me, it's not my forte. <laughs> hey, Just that's where we all support like... each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. Bye for now. Have a Bye. great day, everyone. Bye. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Chris and Tammy, for the coaching. Sure. Thank you. Okay.